Chapter 5, Advanced Features of the Moza Master App, Calibration, Customized Controls, and Time Lapse. Calibration is important to all gimbals, and calibrating the gimbal correctly will ensure a level horizon and drift-free operation. If the gimbal starts to drift on the yaw axis or fail to hold the horizon correctly on the roll axis, you'll need to calibrate the gimbal's gyro and accelerometer. The motors must be turned off to calibrate the stabilizer correctly. Also, calibration can be accessed from the gimbal's handle under Gimbal Set. For this demonstration, we will use the Moza Master app for calibration. Lay the gimbal as shown. Take time to make sure the gimbal is laying perfectly flat. After that, click Start Calibration. Do not touch or move the gimbal during calibration. Next, we'll calibrate the gyro. Tap Gyro and then tap Start Calibration. Once calibration is finished, power back on the motors. On the Moza Master app, under Motor Settings, you can turn on Manual Positioning. This will allow the user to position the gimbal with their hands. Note, all axes must be in lock mode for manual positioning to function. The Smart Trigger can have the four functions assigned to it, from holding in the trigger, to pulling it once, to pulling it twice, pulling it three times. The Smart Trigger's functions can be adjusted through the Moza Master app or on the gimbal's handle to the menu system under Gimbal Set. If you need to restore the gimbal to default settings, you can access the Moza Master app configuration and set it to default, or from the gimbal's handle under Configuration. The Moza Air 2 can perform three different types of time-lapse. Motion time-lapse, variable speed time-lapse, and time-lapse. Motion time-lapse allows the user to program a path for the gimbal to fall during the time-lapse. Variable speed time-lapse allows the user to program a path where the gimbal can adjust its movement speed. And time-lapse for those wanting a stationary time-lapse function. We will do a quick demonstration of motion-lapse. Use the on-screen remote to move the gimbal. Tap the plus symbol to add a point. Use the remote to move the gimbal. Add another point. Use the remote again to move the gimbal and add a final point. Select a duration. Adjust shutter time. And adjust interval time. To preview the gimbal's path, tap Preview. And tap Record to start, 